Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers, welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so, be part of this journey with us. One big happy family. Thank you so much to all of you that have been with me from the start and for your loving support, your comments, your beautiful words. Thank you so much. Um, I'd like to mention I do have a private crochet group. You're more than welcome to join in with the beautiful queens that are there. Uh, as long as you have a profile pic, also a Facebook crochet page you can follow, Instagram and TikTok. All of my threads are 4-ply, 100% cotton thread. These are Portugal brands. They're similar thickness as Aunt Lydia number no. 3, a little bit thinner. So your projects do become bigger with Aunt Lydia number no. 3. For the most part, I use 2.75 hook. 3, 3.5, depending upon the project. If the video is too fast for you, you could always go below in the description box. There's a two minute video in how to slow down the video and turn your closed caption on to pause to take notes. I don't write patterns, unfortunately, as I don't read them. Please, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and give a thumbs up on the video. It's extremely important. And thank you to all of you that have been helping out women in need and for your donations. God bless you. Let's get started. Okay, everyone. So you guys remember a few days ago I had done this beautiful, um, I call it a fruit basket. It was my grandmother's way of helping out with the family. She used to make a lot of these back in the days and sell them. Um, so I had launched a video for this one. I had a special request from my beautiful, beautiful Lila Irwin from USA to create an oval one. Uh, so we're going to attempt that today to create an oval uh, piece exactly like this. Okay, so Lila, I hope that you're going to enjoy the oval one. I hope that I can bring bring it well out for you <laughs> you know i'm gonna create this as i go so i'm going to use the um uh, beige color why not and of course this gorgeous red because grandmother used to do a lot and sell them a lot in either beige or white and red okay so let's get started everybody I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you so much. If you have not subscribed, please do so and give a thumbs up on the video. These are four ply, 100% cotton thread, similar to Aunt Lydia number no. three. Uh, Aunt Lydia number no. three cotton is a little bit thicker, so your pattern does become a little bit bigger than mine. Okay, I'll be using a 2.75 hook. You can use a three, a 2.5. And, of course, a small one to tuck in loose ends and a pair of scissors. I send everybody much hugs. Lila, I love you so much, sweetheart. And um, thank you for the request. I guess you read my mind because I was planning to create one a novel. I just was busy on the little girl's dress. But here we go. Okay. By the way, lots of hugs to you and to Roger. All the best. So the first thing I'm going to do is my slip stitch knot. Let me see if I can bring this a little bit more up. And I'm going to do 52 chain stitch. If you hear some noise, uh, people, I apologize in advance, but we are redoing the roof. So there's a lot of banging, banging here and there. Sometimes I try to avoid it, but sometimes it's kind of hard. So 52 chain stitch, okay? I've done my 52 chain stitch. I'm gonna go back to the fifth one. One, two, three, four, and five. Make sure you do grab both loops so your pattern does not turn like a U shape, okay? Not just the top loop here. You have to go right in the center, nearly almost like the bottom, and then pull your thread out through it, okay? So we're gonna do one per stitch, one double crochet per stitch, all the way to the end and I'll meet you at the end okay okay everyone so I've done my 49 double crochets total I'm going to come into my last one I hope I have enough lighting here sometimes 
It looks in my camera there's enough lighting but sometimes there isn't so on the same stitch I'm going to do six more double crochets of increase on this on my 49th double crochet okay so six more double crochets on that increase so I have three four five and six with the 49th of a crochet that means we have a total of seven at the oval okay I'm gonna grab my smaller hook now because my stitch is tight and I want to go right on that chain stitch that we started at the beginning so I'm going to come into the next one and start my 49 double crochet Okay, one per stitch all the way to the end. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing at the end, but I'll come to you in the end. Okay, everyone, so coming all the way to the end, so I have 48 double crochets exactly how we have it here. Why we have it here? Because we did 49 and we took one for the oval with the seven so in reality we have 48 on this side now and 48 on this side so now we're going to do the six more double crochets and i'm using my smaller hook because i don't want to poke a big hole through that last one to do the six double crochets so i have four, five, and six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Got to make sure that we have that seven included. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six and one more seventh and then i'm coming in that first one with slip stitch okay now we're going to do i'm gonna come back in on that same stitch that we closed in single two chain into the next one double crochet into the next one double crochet so now we're doing one double crochet per stitch all the way to the end if you want to put markers on uh, go ahead on the uh, your 48 double crochet that means that you're marking here and here and on this side also doing 48 here and here okay and the seven stay inside of each oval um, as, as, uh, stitch okay on the edges so I'll meet you at the end so I've done my 48 double crochet now I'm just on that very first one of the seven double crochets at the edge at the round I'm doing an increase of two double crochet per stitch so one double crochet two double crochet in the same stitch into the next one one double crochet two double crochet in the same stitch so we should have a total of 14 double crochet all in this oval of the seven stitch that we did so I have so far gotta make sure that I have the right amount two four six eight ten eleven 
12, 13, and 14. So two per stitch on the seven, and then one per stitch on the uh, sides. That means you should have 48 double crochets. In case you made a mistake somewhere and you're short, let's say 47, that can happen. You can just add another one. It's not gonna change anything on the pattern. Okay, so one per stitch all the way to the end, coming to the edge here again. If you have put a marker, then you know as soon as you hit that seven on the oval, two double crochet for each stitch, a total of 14. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so pretty much closed in with slip stitch. Coming back into that same one, single two chain, that's my first double crochet, one per stitch again, doing those 48 double crochets, all the way to the end, and then I'll meet you here just on my 48th one before the edge. Okay, so one double crochet per stitch. Okay, so I've done my 48 double crochet coming in that first group. I'm doing one double crochet. On the second double crochet, I'm doing two together on the same stitch. So that's my increase. Only on the 14 double crochets we're doing this, okay? So one double crochet on the first one, two together on the second. One double crochet on my second, two double crochet in the same stitch. One double crochet alone on my next stitch, two together on the same stitch. And again, one double crochet, two together on the same stitch. One double crochet, two together on the same stitch. And we have one more group, one double crochet, and two together on the same stitch. Okay, and on this side we'll be doing exactly the same thing on the other edge. So one per stitch now, all the way to the end until the next uh, round of the groups um, on this side, okay? So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I've reached the end. I'm gonna go back in, single, two chain. And single, two chain. Next stitch, double crochet, one chain, skip a stitch into the next one, double crochet, and double crochet, one chain, skip a stitch into the next one, double crochet, and another double crochet. So we're going to proceed this way until we get to the corner. Okay, so I'll meet you at the corner. Okay, everyone, so I have 17 groups of two, and my um, last group, my 17th group, it, the second double crochet lays right on top of that first one from the corner. One chain, we're not skipping any stitch here because we're doing the oval, so two double crochet, one per stitch, one chain, and again, double crochet, and double crochet, one chain, into the next one, okay? So on my round edge, after my 17th group, okay, we didn't skip any, we went to the 18th group right after the, the stitch right after one chain space I have nine okay 
And then, of course, my tent falls right on top again of that last group. Okay, so that's considered already that one group for the 17 going that way. Okay, so I have my first group of the 17th already. Skip a stitch into the next one. Okay, I want to make sure you do understand what I said. So we had 17 groups and it lays right on top of the group from the previous row. And then one chain into the next stitch. So not counting that 17th, I'll leave it out. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Nine, sorry nine groups and then because this one lands right on top of the last group also like we did here at the beginning starting group one two until you get 17 before you can uh, not uh, skip any when we get here so i already have two groups done skip a stitch into the next one. This is my third group. So I'm going to do 17 and then I'll come back to you again. Okay, everyone. So I've done my 17. One chain coming in, not skipping any. Doing my two double crochets, one chain, two double crochets, one per stitch. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so I just finished doing my oval. Now another way to make sure that you are understanding, give you a different explanation, which comes out to the same thing. So without skipping, let's say this is where you have your markers. Okay, so I have 15 groups. One chain space and skip to space. 15 groups total. And then, not skipping a space, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 groups. Let me just confirm, because sometimes, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 groups on the oval, okay? So I have 11 groups on the oval and 15 on the edge okay so on to the next one i'm gonna go in the same stitch create single and two chain into the next one double crochet where I have my one chain space double crochet into the next one double crochet so one double crochet per stitch all the way around that means when you get to the oval it's the same thing one per stitch and inside of that one chain space we're doing one double crochet okay So that's all you have to do. Just double crochet all the way around inside of the one chain space. One double crochet and then one per stitch. I'll meet you at the end of my row. Okay, everyone. So I've reached the end. I'm going to come back in. Do my single, my two chain. Two double crochet, one chain, skip a stitch, into the next one. So you know that your groups are below. One chain, skip a stitch, into the next one. Skip a stitch, into the next one. Okay, so I'll meet you here. Um, 
just before the edge, which is our first group here. I'll meet you here in that same direction. Again, so I've met my first of the groups here, okay, where we started doing the increase, the group, the first group. That gives me the 17 again groups, okay? Now, I'm going to do two chain this time, skip a stitch into the next one, and create the group. Two chain, skip a stitch into the next one, and we'll do the same thing on the other side of the oval. Two chain, skip a stitch into the next one, and create your groups, okay? So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so pretty much finished my row. Now, I noticed that I pretty much was missing a group here on this side. Don't know why, but I guess probably miscalculated my things. I don't know. Because I recounted my groups and noticed I had 10 on one side and 11 on the other. That might happen to you too. So what I did was I went and skipped one here and added two together on the same stitch. So I created my uh, uh, 11th group also on this side. So coming back in, so now we're even, no issues. And doing one double crochet per stitch. So if you come across that issue, just go ahead and add add in a neck, another group like I just did. So basically skip that first double crochet that group and add it on the second. One per stitch again all the way around the same way and where we have the two chains we're adding two double crochets. Okay? So again one per stitch and where I have my two chains. I'm adding two double crochet inside. This is what we're going to do for this row. I'll meet you at the end. Okay everyone, so I've done all my double crochets. I have a total of 180 double crochets. Okay, so now this row we're going to do single on the same stitch and two chain. We're going to repeat the 180 double crochets. Okay, so very simple, just repeating 180 double crochets. One per stitch. So nothing to it okay so I'll meet you at the end okay everyone so I'm going to do the last row in red we don't want the basket to be huge wideness wise right the focus here is on the outside motives not so much of the um, foundation Okay, so single two chain into the next double crochet with double crochet. Now we're going to create these groups all the way around. The thing is, we have to have even numbers of groups or you'll be in trouble. <clears throat> two chain. I'm going to skip one, two, and come into the third one. If your stitch is extremely tight, you can do a three chain, two chain. Skip two stitch into the next one. Two chain, skip two stitch into the next one. Skip two stitch into the next one. And then I'm cutting my thread and I'm going to come in with my beige color. Okay, so getting into the 
edges here, the same thing. Skip two space into the next one with the group of the double crochets. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Just make sure you count and you have even number of groups. Even number for some of you that don't know, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and so on. Okay? Okay, everyone. So as I was doing this first edge, I noticed it started pulling too much. So I'm going to have to increase at least two groups in here. I'm going to do that. Or three groups. I don't know. It has to be even numbers, no matter what. So I have, let's see, let's see what do we got to do here. You have to remember that I'm creating this as I go. So I'm going to come down to here because that pretty much is already straight. So that means I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 groups with two chain and skip two space. So I'm going to skip only one, still doing my two chain, okay, so I have one, skip one, two, two chain, skip one, three, two chain. Skip one, four, two chain. Skip one, five, two chain. Skip one, six, two chain. Skip one, seven. Two chain, skip one, eight, two chain, skip one, nine, two chain, skip one, ten. So I have 10 to chain. Now I'm going to skip one, two, and continue with my two chain, skip two, and again. Now, if we need to make an adjustment at the end, we will, no biggie. Just got to make sure that we end up with even numbers. Even if it pulls a bit like this, it doesn't matter because the next row doing the double crochets, it's going to firm it straight. Okay, so I'm going to repeat the 10 groups that I've done here, skipping only one on the other side also. <clears throat> so basically, we counted 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Let me just see. No, it was 15, I believe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14. We skipped 2. Okay, and then we started skipping 1 for 10 groups. Okay? So we'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay, everyone. So I have 50 groups. I've done 11 groups here, counting from the first one. You skip one only. Okay. So I'm not counting this from here. Okay, from the sides. I'm counting as soon as we finish doing that too. Okay. So I have 14, okay, 14 on the side, and then skip one. So on that 14 that I've done, okay, the 14, skip two, and then did my group. I'm starting to count from here. I have 11 on this side. Then after done 11 groups, 
I'm skipping two again. So I have 14 on this side also. And once I finished counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, I've skipped two and I start counting this one as my first one of the 11th. Okay? So I have 50 total. Make sure that you recount and you do have even numbers. Okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. Okay, so now I'm going to cut my thread and I'm going to come in with a beige color. So I'm going to do my slip stitch knot. You can pretty much start anywhere. I'm going to come in that two chain space. Now the rest is very easy, right? It's more harder to get that base going, especially that, you know, it's oval. I mean, I haven't seen them in oval. Don't imagine them in oval. Have never created oval. Um, so yeah, as I go. So we're doing three double crochets. Two chain. Three more. Double crochets. Trying to hide this thread as I go and whatever's left over. into the next one there is no chain space after a while of creating these double crochets it's going to wave like an ocean which is normal especially for uh, the newcomers that are just um, getting into the channel and is creating they might worry why is mine so wavy and it's supposed to because the uh, formation of the motives is is the way that it's supposed to be so this is all we're doing all the way around shells of three double crochet two chain and no chain space in between shells so one two three double crochet chain two and three more Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I've reached the end. I've done 50 shells. I'm going to come back in that first double crochet with single and two chain and one first stitch. So next stitch, double crochet. Next stitch, double crochet. So we have three double crochet. We're doing three double crochet. Coming inside of my two chain, I'm doing three double crochets. That's my increase now. <clears throat> two chain and three more double crochet. One per stitch. So this row, we have three. Now we have two, four, six on each side. No chain space. Going into the next one. One per stitch. Three double crochets again inside of the two chain space. Two chain. and three more double crochet. We're going to repeat this all the way around the same way. So we still have one more row of these to do. So it's going to start waving quite a bit because we have a lot of stitches in there. Okay. 
all the way around the same way. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everybody. So I finished my row. I'm going to do the walk to the third double crochet. On the third double crochet, actually, that's not the third, the fourth double crochet. So that means three before the um, two chain, single two chain. Again, double crochet, double crochet. Three inside of the two chain space on the shell. Two chain and three more double crochet. Double crochet over double crochet. Another double crochet and another double crochet. So <clears throat> we'll be doing six double crochets. That means three inside, one per space, one chain. Into the next stitch, one, two, three, four, five, six. One chain and proceed again the same way. Got my thread rolling all over my legs. So you're doing your three, three inside of the shell. Now the shell, of course, is always two double crochet, uh, two chains, sorry, and three double crochet. Only uh, on here, it's one chain space. In the shell, we must do the two chain. One per stitch, so four, five, six, one chain. One, two, three, four, five, and six, one chain. And we continue on exactly what we've been doing all the way around, the same way, and then I'm coming, uh, once I finish my row, coming in with the red. I'm gonna cut the beige color, and my last row coming up, which is the singles, I'm doing it in red. Okay, everyone. So pretty much finished. Going to do the last row. Now you have to pay attention because sometimes it'll feel like it's a little bit tricky. So you can start anywhere. I'm going to start I'm going to start right after my one chain here. So, singles. This row is all about singles. Try to hide this as I go. So, we're going to do singles per stitch. One single, of course. Coming to that shell where we have the two chain, we're going to do two singles. One, two, and one chain. Again, two singles inside of the two chain shell, okay, and one per stitch. Now, when you come to that one chain, remember we did six and one chain, six, one chain. <clears throat> so we're going to come inside of this first one chain. We're always going to attach the motives on the next one chain just before the shell. Okay? You'll understand once we do a few more. 
So one single for each. Now, I've come inside of that one chain. Okay, we still need to do um, these ones here so we can start attaching. One chain. One, sing uh, one single in one chain, I should say. And coming to the shell. Two, uh, two singles in one chain only. Such a habit of doing two chain, right? And one per, per stitch. Coming inside of that one chain with one single. And again, inside of that one chain. Okay, so now we're going to start attaching. <clears throat> we are going to attach on the single that's on the left side just before the shell. So where we have that single, <clears throat> sorry. We're going to attach it, slip stitch, and then continue with one single per stitch. So we're always going to have one motive down, one up, down, one up. Okay, coming inside of that two chain of the shell, two singles, two chain, one per stitch. Remembering that we only attach when we're getting in that single just before the shell. I need to do that. This is my one chain. We cannot miss any singles here because then it's going to look deformed. We need to have them all the same size of the motive. Okay, so now I'm in my single. So we have one down, one up, one down. And I'm going to come in this one and attach it on my single, on my uh, chain, sorry. And then come back and continue singles. Coming inside the shell, two singles, one chain, two singles, so basically, we have two down, and now, of course, when we come back, we'll attach this pattern or this motive to the one here, right? So we know automatically this one is up because we just did the down. one per stitch, one single per stitch. The attachment is always done on the second single of this line. That's what you need to remember. So we have that first chain, or should I say the attachment is always done in that one chain, not single. I don't know, my word sometimes does not. My thoughts are properly in place, but my words are not. I don't know why. Okay, so I'm in that one chain, single. 
Now, automatically, we can see it's already turning to go up, correct? So now we have to come down to the bottom one. Okay. And then continue again. Continue with your singles. Two inside of the two chain, one stick, one chain, two singles, and one per stitch. So always attaching on the second one chain. So we have our first one chain. We don't attach it here. We're going to attach it on the second one there. Coming inside of that one chain. And another thing that you will know in order not to make a mistake, you see the distance of the motives here. So you know that's already attached on that one chain. This is long, so you know you have to attach it here no matter what. Right? One up, one down, one up, one down. Once you get the hang of it, it's okay. It's at the beginning that might confuse you a little bit, but once you get it, you're flying with it like peanuts. So Two singles, one chain, two singles, and then one per stitch. So coming up with my first chain, single, one per stitch again. So I'm coming to my second chain, that means I have to attach. So I'm in my chain. Again, as you can see, you have the long one. You know you have to attach it there. You ain't going to attach it here on the motive here, right? So coming into that one chain and slip stitch back into the next. Okay. So now you see you have the big one. So you know you're going to have to attach it up here. So very simple. Okay. Turn it this way so you guys can see it better. You're going to have to attach it here and then down, up, down, up, down. So we did down, went up, down, up down and up. I'm going to continue mine. If you need to rewind the video, go ahead. And I'll meet you at the end so we can close it in together. Okay? Okay, everyone. So we are almost at the end. So I'm going to do... So I have only this motive left here. So I'm going to attach this one. Doing our singles. One chain, two singles. Oh my goodness, my throat is so dry from this heat. But time to time I have to pause to get a grip of my air. Okay. So continuing. Into that chain
forgot, forgot about this one. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we need to attach this one before we do the last one into this one here. Almost forgot. And then continuing. How easy we forget, don't we? But anyway, no biggie, right? And then now, of course, the last one. And And this is it. So we have this gorgeous oval. It's kind of big, but you'll see it better once I have it on display when I do the little video. Leila, I hope this did its justice for you and it's a very very nice size of doily uh, doily i mean basket <laughs> doily i'm so used to creating doilies right so i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial i'll leave the measurement below so i'll be uh, measuring from one tip to the other tip and then from one tip to the other and of the of this basket thank you so much everybody please if you haven't subscribed please do so and give a thumbs up on the video it's extremely important god bless you stay safe let me know what you think Leela and everybody else of course it's very important and I will see you in the next tutorial thank you so much everybody oh before I forget if you want to go bigger so you would have to increase again on your um on your uh, chain at the beginning so we did 52 that means you can go 62 72 and so on um, increasing if you want to go larger wider then you have to do again like we were doing groups and then double crochet groups as long as the last one arrange yourself to have even number of groups or you'll be in trouble because we need one up one down one up one down and that takes even numbers for that okay so thank you everyone until next time god bless you Bye-bye.